is going on, everybody? Welcome back to yet another episode of our weekly podcast. We are batting practice. As you can see, we are down a member. Andrew's going to be MIA for the next uh, two? two episodes, episodes, I think. Two or three, yeah. maybe. Um, he's on a very extravagant, long honeymoon vacation with his new wife. So shout out to him. <laughs> his uh, new wife. His new wife, yes. His his. That makes it sound like he got remarried already. Right. It, he never got. It's his first wife, but they recently got married. Um, but yeah, they're in. They're having a good time over in Portugal and Spain. Uh, so Jacob and I are holding down the fort until he comes back. Um, so yeah, Jacob, how are we feeling today? We're good. We're good. Um, we're coming off a solid so rare performance this weekend. I'm coming off of four NFL fantasy football drafts not Ooh. one not two not three but four and i'm kind of exhausted and the last <laughs> one i did also took the longest last night it also took the longest yeah uh so good times there i have patrick mahomes in three of the four leagues i tried oh, to keep it consistent. In. oh yeah i was like it's it's too hard to manage i mean most of the teams are different most of my positions are different so it's it's going to be crazy no matter what, but at least I'll have some similar like bye weeks where I have to look at quarterbacks and then, yeah, it's, it's, we're trying, we're trying. There we is, survived the four fantasy football drafts. There is nothing worse. Uh, I count myself at three. I will never, I will never do more than three fantasy football leagues. So I give you a lot of credit there for doing four. And the one of the big reasons is it is so frustrating to have your star player in one league be the person that you're going up against in another league, and all of a sudden, you know, you're you're doing really well in one and getting destroyed in the other. Um, so I'm in three, and that'll come up anyway, but four is a lot, and I'm sure there'll be weeks where there's overlap and you're winning in one league and <laughs> losing in another, so... I mean, exactly. And then on top of this, get this. This is almost like a like a so rare weekly competition. But one of the league's top score from the league gets 20 bucks. Oh. So we factor that into the original cost. Yeah. For each week? For each week. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I like I like leagues that have a week to week because I love fantasy football. It's it's definitely one of my favorite fantasy sports things to do. Um but it gets long, 14, 15 weeks, and, you know, it could be week eight and your team is one and seven and your season's pretty much over. So I like ones that still give you something to play for, uh, especially on a week to week basis. That's fun. It's a good way to yeah. do it. Mm -hmm. Sick. I agree. Very cool. I agree. Yeah. Um, we're just talking all fantasy sports today, I guess, because we've we've got football down. We're, we'll talk MLB because we always do, but we're also talking Sower NBA what? because we got a little spoiler, a little, not that, a little, a little hint, a little teaser tease into what the season's going to be. Sower's like. favorite thing. Yes. Yes. Without details, just a bunch of words put together. No, uh, it has us excited and we're going to speculate because that's what we do. Um, Yeah. So we can, we can get right into it. I will say. Um, I've been meaning to tell this because it happened to me earlier today. So I'm just driving uh, to the post office. In fact, I texted you this. I'm going to go to the post office. Yeah. And I decided to go to the one. I'm like, I'm kind of in the middle of two where I live. So I decided to do the go to the go to go to the one south of me. I'm like, all right. And I. Uh, I was like, you know what? It's probably quicker to go onto the freeway. So that's what I did. And this is coming. You probably know where this is. Like coming from my place, you turn right. And you have to be in the right lane to go left, to go south onto the freeway. Right. And people don't know that. So they always try and cut in at the last second. Of course. So this guy has his blinker on. I'm like, all right, I'll slow down. I'll slow down and let him in. And there's plenty of space. And he looks like he's about to turn. And at the last second, he guns it and speeds up as far as he can. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And oh, but it's better because the car in front of me that I slowed down to let him in between 
undercover cop. Oh. <laughs> so we go around, we go around, and then like we get onto the highway part, and he turns on his lights and pulls the dude over. Oh, it was, it's immediate. Best. Yeah, it was so funny because I'm like, I'm sitting there like before he got pulled over, before the lights were on, I was like, dude, I like I gave you plenty of space. Like, why didn't you just go in right. front of me? Um, but he probably sped up to like, I mean, you have to go 20, 25 around that ramp because it's tight. Yeah. And he probably sped up to like 45, 50 just to oh do my that. Gosh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And just immediately gone. See you later. There was know. uh maybe he got that, maybe he got a warning, but that kind of similar instance. But a couple of weeks ago, I was driving on the highway, and you know, whenever there's somebody that's like super impatient uh, for you to merge and go around you, you always are hoping that they like speed up, and then there's a cop sitting somewhere, and they get pulled over. Uh, that wasn't exactly the case, but this guy did pass me going, like. I was going probably eight or nine over and he passed me like pretty easily. So he had to be going 15, 20 over and a cop got on the highway right in front of me. So I slowed down and he's coming up and just never slows down. And like, it was very obviously a cop and people always like break and try and get over. So they don't pass the cop. He just went, kept going straight past going the same speed. And it was yeah. the same thing. It was instant. I was like, watching him come up behind me and I'm like, this guy's getting pulled over, isn't he? Never slowed <laughs> down. And like literally two seconds after he passed the cop, it was lights on and he was, he was done. So, so yeah, it's pretty funny, but. I, maybe this is more of a common occurrence. It just happened yeah. to you. It just happened to me. It's the similar experiences. Anyways. I feel like. I feel, what's like up, what's up? I feel like we both live in areas where the drivers are, are not good. So uh, if you're listening, let us know what you think about the drivers in your area. Like, do you also feel like the drivers where you live are also not good drivers? Because I feel like you and I both agree because we've both driven in the areas that we live in now. Um, we feel like their drivers are not good at all. So maybe that, like you said, maybe it's more of a common thing around the country and there's just a lot of bad drivers in the country. But um, let us know what you guys think about the drivers in your area. Are they good or bad? Yeah, that's that's a good point. Yeah, I would say not good. Charlotte area drivers just not good. No. Same with Chicago area drivers, not good. Milwaukee is a little bit better. Depends. It's not it's not great. No. Um especially as of recently. But right. it it's no it's no Chicago. It's True. no Chicago. True. But anyways, 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 let's let's get back to back to sports, back to the basketball today football basketball mlb if you missed on our youtube channel if you're not subscribed yet that's crazy if you're listening on spotify go over click that subscribe button but also check out our most recent uh non-short youtube video that explains my team from last week my best champion finish of the year in fact I don't know if Andrew's top finish was that also champion or was it a different competition because it might be our best champion as a group finish. Yeah, I think so. Um, if not, eleventh place. Tied. Yeah, if not, maybe yeah. But eleventh place, one place. I won fifty bucks, and I was one place out of winning seventy five. But right. in the video, I explain what I could have done differently to get that, and it's a very very simple fix. And I don't think. I could have won, but I could have gotten top five for sure if I would have just made one little change that went up. But yeah, I also got a reward box. Did you see at the end? Opened oh, yeah. up a, a rare, rare reward Caratini. box and won yeah. Victor Caratini. Yeah. Former Brewer. That's, and that might be our first. I think that's our first rare card. One our first box rare for sure. Yeah. It's our first rare for sure. And we'll take it. I yeah. can't, again, it's like I have nothing to complain about, but I could have also won so much more this weekend. True. Uh, I'm in the same boat as you. We had probably one of the better, uh, like, top finishes as a group because um, I finished seventh in limited all-star, which was also one point away 
not one point, sorry, two places away from a star limited, but I got a tier one limited instead. Uh, and I got a limited Anthony Santander, which pretty happy with because he is on a playoff team. So he'll be usable come the playoff times, which is what I was hoping for. Yeah. Pretty, pretty good places for us this mm-hmm. week. Yeah. Santander, I used to have his card and I sold it. And I wish I wouldn't have sold it. Not that I got a bad deal selling it, but he's he's on a playoff team. He's 40 home runs. Or he's going yeah, to. That's crazy. Yeah. Definitely a tier one. That's like top tier one player yeah. that you could have gotten for sure. Um, um I think so. I'm guessing you had limited Willie Adamas in your your yeah. good lineup. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about that for a quick second, because I also had him in that lineup that won me the reward. Um, I actually have two Willie Uh I have a 2024 and then an old one. So the 2024 one won me five bucks in champ. And then the older one won me the tier one in uh, limited all-star. So Willie Adamas hitting what four home runs in a four game series mm-hmm. and scoring like 105 points was was very helpful for many of my lineups. Yeah. Hey, 30 home run, 100 RBI season for Willie. He's hit that good old fashioned uh, check mark there with the 3100 season. Yeah. And what do you think? Dodger next year? Ooh, OK, I keep. The more he or the better he does, which uh, as of recent, he's been doing amazing. Um, I feel like the higher his his price goes, I'm deep down. There's part of me, like five percent of me that thinks he would take a pay cut to stay as a brewer. And then 95 percent of me thinks he's probably going to get like 50 million a year to play for the Dodgers for like four or five years, probably. So I don't know why you wouldn't take that deal, but. I don't know. I'm holding out a tiny bit of hope, but probably Same. a Dodger. <laughs> probably a Dodger. Willie Adamas, you heard, heard it here first. Next year, 40, 50 mil a season? Maybe that's a little high. 40 mil Holy. is probably. I mean, short, he's a shortstop. And he, short, uh, he is, shortstop and that he can hits. hit. Yeah. And he's, he's not a, a gold glove necessarily but he's a good defensive player. Up until this year's defense was really good. This yeah. year it's been a little iffy, but still not not bad. Um, Before we move on to a little bit of basketball, I also have to give a shout out to uh, one of our listeners and my friend Anthony, who uh, got second place in Rare NL. Wow. Yeah. Second place, we were sweating out. Uh, we had our fantasy football draft on Sunday, so we were sweating out the Phillies Braves game because he had Aaron Nola pitching, uh, and Nola put up a good performance for him, and he got second place, which was pretty sweet. How about that? What did he win? Uh, I believe he won a rare Jackson Merrill. Yeah, really? Yeah, I believe so. What? I know. What did first place win? Sweet? I know, like. And Otani. <laughs> yeah. Um, that is, that's awesome. Uh, that is, I've bragged about it all season long about my Paul Skeens pick. And Jackson Merrill has now moved out in front of him for the rookie of the year favorites. The Vegas odds are saying it's Jackson Merrill. And Jackson Turio is in third place. And he's probably moving up the ladder too with his recent yeah. weekend too. I mean, even yesterday they lost. The game went to extra innings. He did he pinch hit yesterday or was that a few days ago where he was he didn't even play to start the game and he still came in and hit a home run. He did he started yesterday, but he okay. also hit a home it was, run. Yesterday. It was maybe a few days ago. Yeah. But yeah, he also hit a home run yesterday. Yeah. And yeah, so I, mean, I, I can, stand by my purchase of Jackson Churio's rookie card limited. For sure. You can you could probably go through it and butter knife a lot of different stats for players. But if you take out just the month of April for Cheerio, he's probably the front runner for for Rookie of the Year, um, which is saying a lot because over a whole month he was struggling. And since then, he's been probably one of the better hitters in MLB, which is crazy to say because he's only 20. Um, But yeah. 
we turned this into a homer pod real quick <laughs> we did turn into homer pod let's <laughs> let's hop into nba and talk about the bucks <laughs> oh. no i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding uh we can talk about the bucks for a little bit but let's know mm-hmm. let's we're gonna talk about so rare nba because last week we we skipped over this article it was a our last podcast before andrew was leaving so we had to do some mlb stuff there but we skipped in fact i don't know if this article is even out the last time we recorded probably but it came out it might have come out the day of our yeah august there. august 26th was uh a monday and we recorded that tuesday yes yeah, so maybe was it when before. i was i had covid i apologies i still don't sound 100 <laughs> percent back to normal but Either way, it doesn't matter. August 26, 2024, 20, 25, so rare NBA sneak peek. We're talking about it. There are, as of today, 40 days and 40 nights <laughs> until so rare NBA returns. And I would say my my excitement level before reading this article was maybe at like a four out of ten. What do you think? Yeah, maybe, I, maybe like, like I was there, but I'm I'm not ready for baseball to end. And after how last year ended and the prices crashed, I was like, I'm not as excited for NBA as I was in the past. It wasn't even on my mind. So whatever that rating out of ten would be is what it was because I wasn't yeah. even thinking about it. <laughs> It was, it was, uh, does not apply. Yeah. Out of 10. Yeah. But then, and again, this is our fault for not reading it earlier, reading it eight or nine days ago when it came out, but we got this article and it's like, holy cow, it's, it's reinvigorated a couple of things for me and my excitement levels up there. It's up there again. Is that a 10? No. Will it go up that high once baseball's done? Maybe <laughs> there's a better chance now. Uh, we don't need to share it because we can just no. talk about it here. Yeah, uh, it plus, was it was a pretty quick article. It's, it's a very it's... brief article. It's less than ten paragraphs, and each paragraph is maybe three to four sentences. Yeah, but yeah, it's it's a very quick read. We have a few sections: new gameplay, revamped competitions, the chases, rewards, and that's about it. So let's just dive right into it. Um, obviously, they say get ready for our most exciting season yet. It better be. Right. It better be. And it should be because we know what the rest of the article says. <laughs> but <laughs> the first thing, this is they they dive into it just like we're about to dive into it. They They don't hint. I mean, it's all hints. There's no details. But they don't spin around... Like, um, I feel like with baseball, the term rivals exists somewhere out there. Like it does with football, like it does with soccer. And it, it's never really come to fruition and we haven't really heard anything since a few, like very, very light hints. But in this new gameplay section, first sentence, we're adding daily gameplay to so rare NBA giving managers the opportunity to play every single day. How about that? Does that mean rivals? Arena tickets, rivals for NBA? It really sounds like rivals. And if you're an MLB player, an uh, NBA player, or one of the other, and you don't play soccer at all, rivals is a daily so rare competition where you don't need to buy any cards. You instead use cards that you can draft from starting lineups and then compete against someone else uh, head to head. And if you beat that person, you win a rivals box, which can contain more arena tickets. That's kind of like the, you know, like the game on your phone where you have to keep putting, was it clash of clans where you do put like, you couldn't attack unless you have gems, Mm. but then your Mm -hmm. gems reset every 24 hours i don't know right. it's something like that yeah. that's what the arena tickets are uh but you can win more arena tickets i have like 30 stacked up in soccer so i think it's pretty easy to uh win those for sure but you can also win uh cards and stuff too 
from these boxes, which we'll get into in a second. So anyways, long story short, it's a head to head competition that should really add to the Sower NBA experience. And especially for new players, you don't need to put any money in for yeah. the rivals. Right. So yeah, I hope it's if rivals. It is, do you think yeah, rivals. do you think it's rivals? What do you think? Uh so when when I first read through this, I thought it was not rivals. It was cards that you bought, which could be an interesting uh type of gameplay as well. Um but now that you said rivals, it does sound a lot like rivals, but at the end it does say that uh new updates including multi-entry are coming. So to me, that sounds like you can put in the same card into multiple lineups. Um, so I'm wondering if they're doing that because there is going to be daily gameplay where you can submit cards into a daily competition and into game week or weekly long competitions. Um, I don't know. It's it's it it's kind of splits it up where it says, oh, daily game pay, daily gameplay, but then also our pro gameplay is evolving. Um, so that makes it seem like it's two separate things. Um, so I, I think you might be on something with rivals, which, which would be a lot of fun. Right. And you can use your limited and above cards right. in rivals too, for an extra percent bonus. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm not guaranteeing rivals, but it like you keep saying, and like I keep saying, it sounds like rivals. <laughs> right. Um, if you need a five squad a team of five of limited cards or better then i wouldn't say it's rivals at all but let's let's skip ahead the competition structure and we're going to go down to new improved rewards and this would also point towards rivals in my opinion because they're adding essence to the reward boxes. Wow. Hey, oh. <laughs> Whatever that is. Again, what is that? I don't know. <laughs> no, you, it's again, it's one in rivals. It's one in so rare football, so rare soccer. And you can use this essence to craft cards, like actual usable, sellable cards. And say you can get three essence every time you win a rivals match or you open up a box and you can use 20 of those essences to craft a tier five player, or you can keep building them up throughout the entire season and you can craft like a tier one for 200 essences. Um, those numbers might be completely off, completely off. I'm just throwing it out there uh, kind of how it works, but you can only, am I right? Can you only win essence in rivals? No, you can win it. You know, you can win in other reward boxes. Right. Too. In any box. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but in So Rare NBA, if we're adding reward boxes, those boxes could also exist in a rival sort of style. Weekly right. or sorry, daily competition. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I, I think the signs are pointing towards more of something like that. I wish Andrew were here to get his opinion, but let us know. Let us know in the comment section below. Maybe we're speculating too much. <laughs> it's fun though. It's what we. It's, it's yeah. what we do. We're, we're known yeah. as, a, as a speculation pod. So, um, adding to the the speculation and the typical so rare, uh, mm -hmm. Nicholas did tweet out a date with a bomb emoji, whatever that means. Um, I think it was September 10th. So maybe by the next podcast, we could have more information. Um, who knows if this is about the NBA or if it's about. I got a, I got a guess else. for you. All right, let's hear it. Saudi pro league added to football. Okay. But why the bomb emoji? That seems a little. Cause it's a <laughs> bombshell of a, I don't know. He's French. I think that you're little... the problem. If you're, this is too political for this podcast, yeah, but if you're associating working. bombs with the Middle East, that's your problem. It's just a weird, why wouldn't he tweet like a soccer ball? Because it's or a like, bombshell. Maybe he's blowing up the platform. Oh. And so rare will cease to exist, just like DraftKings Rainmakers. 
Oh. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so maybe we'll get more information, but it could also be the Saudi League. <laughs> Which, hey. Dude, would, if it was an I'd NBA announcement, I'd be, that'd be great. Right? But wow. anyways, <laughs> we got Essence. I think the Essence is really like one of the top things I'm excited about because we never got it for MLB. And I right. bet you, unless they add it for the playoffs, which wouldn't really make sense because you wouldn't be able to do much with it. Right. Um, We're not getting it for MLB until next year. No. So If ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But maybe this time. Uh, NBA will be the guinea pig for American sport essence instead of MOB being the guinea pig. So we'll see. Right. But yeah, other things included in this update for this next season include uh, the same thing as we do in MLB already, an in-season and a classic competition. There's probably just going to be like a champion where you can win money and then a classic where you can win cards and boxes and stuff like that. I don't see any difference between the MLB and this, so it, it's nice homogenization. We haven't said that word in a long time. I know we we used to we used to have our weekly yeah a <laughs> weekly segment, but yeah. Um, other than that, chases are back. Great, sure, awesome, sure. Love to hear it. Uh, I hope there's another like big like the august was for sorry the um july was for mlb hope we'll see something like that or the in-season tournament that sort of thing again and then yeah that's that's really it that is the tease of an article that we got for so rare nba and if you are not signed up yet for so rare nba but you are signed up for so rare mlb Go ahead, check it out. If you know nothing about basketball, neither do we. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we've learned a lot. I would say, and this is something that Andrew's talked about uh, for sure in the past, but just having any sort of game on in the background is it's enjoyable, and it's even more enjoyable to root for your players when they're on that team too. So yeah, if you're if you're not doing out or, uh, NBA yet, do it. Just do the uh, common competitions, or if they add rivals, something sort of rivals, play like that. Yeah, because it it'll be a good time for sure, and we'll be here to ride with you guys along the way <laughs> on the pod. Yeah, as always. So there we have it. So our NBA 2020-24. 2020-24. <laughs> holy cow 2024 25 <laughs> so rare nba sneak peek that's what i meant to say couldn't close it out like uh clay holmes oh boom, <laughs> yeah uh, all right the uh we're bringing back before we jump into what we're doing uh i just have to say i hope it is the saudi league because I went to set my uh, soccer lineups and made the realization that uh, Castile's transferred uh, to the Saudi league, which I either a missed or forgot about. Um, I don't remember that happening, but I went to put him in my lineup and it was like, this player's score doesn't count. And I was like, Oh, <laughs> whoops. oh no. So hopefully it is the Saudi league coverage. Cause then I could use Castile's again. I mean, an NBA announcement would be sick though. This is true. But you I think agree. he, you, let me go back at you and be like, oh, he didn't Ooh, tweet out the soccer ball. Why didn't he tweet out the basketball? I don't, <laughs> exactly. know. I don't know. In any, in, in whatever, whatever this, this cryptic tweet is about, a bomb emoji is an interesting choice. I'll say that. Right. All right. right. Well, well, let's make a we start. We Yeah, we started off being homers. So we're going to end off being homers, except we're also going to embarrass ourselves uh, a lot. Because we know ball, but do we know ball? Not like this. <laughs> Not like this. Although a lot of it will overlap, so that'll help. A lot of players will overlap. So Opening day to... lineups for the Milwaukee Brewers from 2010 to 2024. We're going to 
do 2010 and on. Yeah. Because doing from, I mean, none of us were alive in 95. Right. So that would be not that fun. Yeah. But we're going to start like this row. Yes. Is where we're starting. And we're going to try and name the Brewers starting lineups. This is going to be impossible. (laughs) What will you be happy with? 75? Okay. So if, so it's three rows. So it's 15 years. And there's yeah. one, two. But there's going to be multiple answers. Just right, start it. Just man. start it. It's, we're going to have plenty of time. I I, I would I say we try and get over 100. All right. That's All right. Let's get it. Let's right. get it. Let's give ourselves like 10 Should, minutes. Okay. Do you want to start like this year and then we'll start backwards? this year for sure? Okay. Yeah. Who right. was the opening day starter this year? It had to have been Freddie Pro. Uh, I'm just gonna do. Oh that. yeah, I mean pitcher. I mean pitcher. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, Willie Peralta. <laughs> Hell yeah. Good call. Good call. That would have taken some time. I meant just right. the entire lineup was what I was talking about. Right yeah. fielder was probably Freelick. Freelick. Nope. Was it Churio? Okay. How about that? Okay. Catcher was Contreras. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god. Which will also be last year, yep. Yep. Left fielder was Yelich. Yep. Which will be a lot, yep. <laughs> First base was Hoskins. Hoskins, which will only be this year. Will Adonis. Willie, Willie will cover three years, yep, 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 yep. Center, Center fielder, fielder was probably Perkins. Perkins at the time, yeah. And then Terang was second. Terang. With a U. Terang oh. was not second. Was it... Was Terang Terang was not on the opening day? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Monasterio was at third. Uh DH. DH. Surely it wasn't Gary Sanchez. It was. What? Okay. Okay. Second. Who the heck was playing second? Oh. Wait, was was it? Ortiz? Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. yeah, okay. that's right. Except he plays more of a third base now. Okay. That okay. makes a lot of sense. Last year was Corbin Burns for the starter. Yeah, which he was too. Yeah. DH for last year? I mean, was it like uh, Jesse Winker? <laughs> It wow, was. that's a pull and a half. Oh man, uh, what a time Santana to be alive. At... Carlos Santana was second half of the year. That's right. Yeah. Um. Wait, who the heck was at first base? Why are there two shortstops? Oh yeah, what? <laughs> the list is scuffed. Scuffed I'm, list. I'm so confused by some of these. Okay. Let's just think about, like, think about your so rare players, for example. Like, Blake was, I don't know why this is not even close, but Tyron Taylor definitely don't have his so rare card, but he was. I'm at sure least... he was on there. Nope. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, let's think about the outfield. Who would have been in right field? Was it Mark Canna? No. He was on the second half of the year. Oh man. See, this is this is not gonna be great. <laughs> We're not even close. Okay, let's take a break and let's go earlier on. Okay. Uh like Prince Fielder. Yes. And JJ Hardy. Nope, and he's too early. Ryan. We're on. Yeah, okay. That was like 20. <laughs> okay. Um Corey Hart? Nope, too early. Really? Hey, oh, 20. You got one. Okay. Um Ricky Weeks, current. Uh, just coach. type in last name. You can just type in last name. You're right. Okay. But... Mike Cameron? Center fielder? Yeah. Could also do like Carlos Gomez <sighs> then. Yeah. Cameron was too early. 
Uh, Lorenzo Kane, my favorite player. Yep. We have. Oh, you know, um, Chris Carter should be like 2016. Oh, there. Wow, that's a good call. Um, uh, what was who is Casey McGee? McGee? It's like M -M C G M C G E E H E E. Ah, make it McGee. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh, nice. Lucroy? There you go. That's a lot of the catcher down. Um, are, what about like Narvaez or Pina? Narvaez, Pina, Pina, the nod. Manny Pineapple. Oh, well, let's that? go pitcher. Let's go Gallardo. Yeah, five in a row. Mm -hmm. Um, twenty fifteen pitcher. Jimmy Nelson. Yeah, that's a good. Chase shot. Anderson. That's also a good shot. Twenty eighteen. Who's like our like top um, pitchers in twenty? Matt Garza. <laughs> wow. That's a stretch. Supon. That's too early. That's too. Early. Although, put him in just to see. Oh, oh 2009. 2009. <laughs> um, oh, so close. Okay. B Bill Hall was like, too early. Uh, like a Colton Wong started. Oh, one yeah. Year. Outfielder. Two yeah. years. Um, oh. Uh, did like was... Lewis Brinson ever start or Kean Broxton? <laughs> Definitely did. There we go. What was um Garcia? Okay, uh, nice, 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 nice. Yeah. Um, oh, and then um Orlando Arcia. Oh duh. And then we also have Julio Urias. Wait, no. Uh, uh yeah. Luis Urias, Luis, sorry. No, yeah. we don't like the other guy. We don't like the other yeah, guy. Yeah, no. Oh, um, what about um Woodruff? Uh, was a oh, starter in 2019, yeah, yeah, yeah. or 2020, and 2020. 2019 between Anders Chase Anderson and Brandon Woodruff, and it wasn't Burns. Who was it? I liked it. I like Jimmy Nelson. That's good. And Chase Anderson. Who was it? Was it someone we we like borrowed? 2019, we made the playoffs too. Right. Um, how about we had Trent Grisham for sure in 2019? Oh, yeah. No, guess he no. wasn't on the opening day roster. Um, there's no relief pitchers, right? No, there's right. No. I don't think so. Like a Josh Hader. Okay, what are the okay? There. 2015 is very barren, and we we're missing a lot of first basemen. We are, um. Who came after who the Fielder? First... Yeah, I was going to say, who came after Fielder? A lot of mediocrity. Oh, how about uh, Chris Davis? Oh, with the Doug K. Davis. Doug Davis. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> who was the opening day? Wait, was Caratini the opening day starter? No. Who was the opening day catcher in 2019? There's Narvaez, there's Pena. It's not Caratini. Who not played Narvaez. alongside Pena? Oh, Gra no, Gr did Grandal play too? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who caught, who did he catch? Who did he catch? Did we have scope for more than half? Oh, no, yeah, he, he was him. definitely on the, no, 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 he was a mid-season pickup. He was a mid-season pickup. That's right. Wow, first base, second base, and third base. Who is our who is third base? Third base. Come on. We're forgetting some like very, very obvious answers. I know. Hand. It's bound to happen when there's this many people. Yeah. Like. Oh, 
man. We're still missing two people from last year. Center fielder and first baseman from last year? Are we stupid? Oh, yes. Duh. Oh, Gary he Mitchell? was on the starter. Who the heck I was wasn't, the first I wasn't baseman? sure about him. Wait, was it? This has to be. Oh, it does. Yeah, okay. Okay. How could we forget about Rowdy? I know. Man, 2022 then would be like Segura is earlier, but he should get a couple. There we go. Michelle. Where were we at? 121. Go back earlier. Go back earlier. Did we hit it? So that's minus 7, 115. Oh, we're so close. 110, 106, one. Oh, we're at 99. I think we're at 99. Okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay lock in. We All got right. to 99 in the allotted 10 minutes. That's when pretty we said good. 100. Pretty okay. Good. How about... Wait like... a second. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. Oh, Craig Council's... No, he's 2007. He's too early. He's too early. He's too early. I could have told you that. Oh man, this like 2017 is very barren. That was the last year they didn't make the playoffs before they made their run. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's think. Oh, uh, Mike Mustakis. Nice. Good. I was call. trying to think of who else is on that. Oh, like, how then? Of course, teams. Travis Shaw at third oh, base. Duh. Ah. That was a big one that we were missing. Okay. All right. Let's end it. And let's All make right. fun of ourselves. All right. Jace, Jace Pe Peterson, oh, Hunter, Hunter Renfro, Renfro, and Andrew McCutcheon. I don't think... sure. <laughs> Keston, Keston Hira. Hira. Justin Smoke in 2020. I never would have got Justin Smoke or Eric, Eric Sogard. Sogard. Oh, Jesus Aguilar. We would have come Chassin. up with that. Chassin. Oh, Chassin. And Jonathan right. VR, yeah. Eric Thames should have got. Jet Bandy in 2017. No way. That's Kyle Loesch, no way. Scooter Jeanette, we probably should have got. Scooter, we should have got. Aramis hey, Ramirez, we should have got. Lyle Overbay. Yeah, Aram would have got. I'm couple. not that mad. Not I'm a lot not of... that mad. I could have sniped that Jim Edmonds, honestly. Yeah. Ioki, we could have got, maybe. But there uh, we go. Mercedes Escobar. That's right. All right. I let's send real quick a pickle. Why not? Let's do it. We know ball. We know ball. I would say we got to about where we, we where we were expecting. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm pretty. I'm mm -hmm. not mad about that. I feel like we did. We did all right. Definitely could have got some more and more time, but definitely should have got some more. But hey, that was that was that was fun. It was a good time. Rowdy, tell us. Go for it. Ooh, lefty, so he's righty, a lefty, in the righty. NL East, NL West, or AL Central. Is it Jacob Degrom? <laughs> he's a lefty righty. Okay, so it's, Ooh, it's a... AL Central, and it's a starter. Ooh, oh, no. oh no, a lefty. So batting is like, who cares? Yeah, so it's a righty AL pitcher. Central righty pitcher. That's Hear me late, out, late Seth Lugo. Oh, he's a righty. Just guess him. Yeah, we'll get, get the. Okay, it's okay. not Kansas City. Not U.S. either. Oh, oh, I wasn't even looking at that. Who's... Okay, so we got we got Twins, Guardians, White Sox. Oh no! I know it's. Pablo Lopez, a lefty batter. What he is, that has to be him. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. Pablo Lopez is a lefty batter. That's Why? pretty good. <laughs> Why though? All right. All right. Sick. All, All right. right. We'll take it. I have a so rare card. There you go. Wow. Well. I guess we do kind of know ball. That was <laughs> that was better than expected for both of those circumstances. So let's shout good. out if you stuck around this far.
and Seriously. it's totally okay if you didn't. <laughs> 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 yeah, let us know. Are you excited for Sora NBA or are you kind of like we were before an hour ago? Like it's still baseball, so we're focusing on baseball season. Um, but yeah, don't forget to leave a rating wherever you're listening to our podcast. Go subscribe to the YouTube, as Jacob said earlier. Um, check out our other social medias. Uh, say hi, ask some questions, leave a comment, whatever you do. But until next week. For another duo pod. You just attended hey, batting practice. Now you're ready to get in the game. Peace. Peace.